Jack Hero as well. 7 2 score at the moment for Vargas. He's farming down lane now. He's picked up those. Well, he still has those boots of travel. Uh, he hasn't sold that yet, uh, I suppose, which is pretty strange. In any case, he's farming down lane. Let's see what he's gonna go for as his next item. Should be interesting. Faceless Void farming mid lane at the moment. It's down to half HP, but I presume it's not too big of a deal. Lena there to. Uh, Help him out if any anything should happen, and he's now gonna fall back and heal up a little bit here, it seems. Electric farming top lane, and that's Sven. He's actually being pushed back by the creeps here. Probably not too bad for him, obviously. A beastmaster coming in for a little bit of a gank, and the Tinker is here as well, so... Could be bad for Vargas if, he no if he's not careful, but now he's back at the tower, and it's gonna be tough for me to make us to get up a gank on him. He's doing his best here farming all these creeps, trying to get as many last hits as possible. Wonder why he's not going for the last hits on the melee creeps though. But I uh, suppose he just wants to take down the ranged creeps before the tower actually starts attacking them. Pot and Viper making, meeting up a little bit here in the top lane. Sand King pretty much ready to jump in as well. Face this wide here. Arrow actually coming in towards the river here, it's going to, wow, almost hit something, <laughs> almost hit a pig, but the pig was resummoned, and a uh, sentry ward is taken down here, Greater Hawk scouting towards the top lane, Potm actually using a regen there for some reason, not quite sure what that's about. Sven still farming down and obviously he's got that boot of travel, so he will be able to teleport top lane if needed, and he's, uh, actually his items aren't that impressive. Uh, it's only uh, 30 minutes into the game though, and he's actually up to... Whoa, his, uh, his gold is only 150. He's teleporting top lane now, where we're gonna see a little bit of a fight. Meteor Maker's running in at the tower. X is going off here, clearing a lot of the forest. Oh, and Tinker gonna go down really fast. Thank him coming in with ulti. This was a very bad idea for Meteor Maker's. A lot of heroes going down really fast. Lina gets off a good ultimate though. She's gonna go down. Viper in huge trouble here being chased. Uh, Beastmaster able to take down the Leshrag along with the Void though. Let's see. Viper does go down. Let's see if they're gonna go for any more heroes here. Sven still farming down and I think he teleported to a creep that was killed, something like that. Um, that might have been a 3 for, th that, that was a 3 for 2 fight, I guess, and tower goes down there, I don't know whether it was denied, um, didn't spot that, I guess I can see that here somehow. Tower's killed, a player's forces are under attack. Uh, it doesn't say tower's denied though. But still, only one tower killed so far, that's by Vargas. Ooh, down in here, Beastmaster actually goes down as the Tinker comes in. Um, Tinker not really able to save his ally though from Vargas, and Vargas yeah, just going crazy. Uh, he's gonna be able to get another tower here as well. Let's see, okay, he's gonna fall. No, he's actually gonna go in for the tower. Tower isn't denied, but Vargas doesn't get the last hit either, and I think he'll be able to run out. So he's definitely doing a good job now, up to 1k gold, it seems. Gonna be running back a little bit here. I don't know whether he's assembling. There's a dagger on the chicken that might be his. Could very well be his, actually. Oh, and Necro 1 on the Jakiro now, trying to farm a little bit here in the first. 22-14, still hugely in the favor of Virtus Pro, obviously. But that Void is getting tougher and tougher with every level that he gains. And he's up to 2.6k uh, 2 gold at the moment. So if he's going for Buritz, uh, Butterfly, something like that, it's not that far off. At least the Eagle Horn isn't that far off. Down lane, the Lina's trying to get some farm here. And Void just farming as much as possible here mid lane, but Jakiro might be setting up for a little bit of a gank. Oh, and there's the dagger on the Sven now coming in. He's actually got Invis as well. Let's see what they can do. Crow scouting, it's obviously not gonna spot Vigas since he's Invis. He's running down into the forest here, and they might be going for a gank on that Beastmaster. Let's see Sand King coming in as well. And Vargas just scouting in the first here, spots the Tinker as well. Let's see if they can get off a good gank on these two heroes. Beastmaster hanging out, but that Sven is gonna go crazy in just a second here, I think. Just a second. 
see Lloyd trying to get some more farm as well. The kill comes in. Sven uses his ult med. Stun's going off. That uh, Tinker gonna go down really, really fast. Off from the kill as well. Mana burn on the Beastmaster. And the uh, Sven is gonna try to take down the Beastmaster. But getting slowed by the pick here, which is obviously really huge. Sand King coming in as well. Beastmaster's gonna go down really, really fast. Another kill for Vigas right there. And uh, they'll be able to push mid lane now, probably. Also made wearing off. Uh, but plus 100 and. 60 damage from uh, from that ultimate definitely doing quite a bit and Sven going for the push on the tower obviously his ultimate is over by now but there's only three heroes to defend at the moment so Virtus Pro will be able to take down this tower pretty easily. Sand King actually hanging out in the forest ready to jump in with his ultimate if needed. Let's see whether they can get some more towers here and um, the rest of the team is probably still dead Yep, they're going in for more towers. Arrow coming in. Oh, ultimate. Very nice ultimate, actually, from the Void here. Trying to take down the enemies. But Sanctin coming in with a good ultimate there in the Void also. Uh, Leshrac did go down. But Hanny now in huge trouble here. Trying to run away from the Sand King and the Jakira. Jakira, Jakira forced back. And Tau actually not taking too much damage. So that was a pretty good fight for Medium Makers. Able to take down the Leshrac and uh, force the opponents back. Sven teleporting down lane to try and get some fun here. Try and save... Um, Virtus Pro's own tower and yep he's gonna be able to get a lot of last hits here despite his uh, very low HP so he'll probably not be able to stay here for too long upon teleporting home she's picked up a hand of minus just to make sure that she gets a lot of farm and that she will be effective late game most likely because they need some kind of counter to that void if this game is gonna go into the late game I presume that's the reasoning. Mask of Death now on the Faceless Void. So he's probably gonna go for... Oh, he's picked up Boots of Travel as well. That's a little... Well, that's actually very strange, I have to say. But, uh, but obviously this was the version where Power Threads really weren't that good. They didn't, didn't give any stat bonus. They basically only increased your movement speed by slightly more than... Uh, normal boots of speed and increase your attack speed as well although attack speed really nice on the face is void but um he's he's gonna be getting lots of attack speed anyway and uh, boots of travel were just the superior boots in almost any case in this version sven could go for uh, power threads because it's extra attack speed is obviously very nice with sven's ultimate uh, I think we saw that in the last game. Lina gonna go down really fast here as Sven comes in again with his ultimate and then uh, stuns. Doing a good job there and uh, Jakira all also getting off a very nice uh, ice path there. Actually he's been getting off some really nice ice paths uh, this game. Sven and the rest of his team now pushing mid lane. Beastmaster ready to... Uh, and to push a little hi little bit here along with the Tinker probably. And as you can see, Tinker's gold is only 60 at the moment. So is does he have boots of travel this side or is he just getting cloned completely? Uh, count gold 100 as you can see. His items are really, really bad at the moment. So it's quite unfortunate for medium makers. But obviously if the... If the Void does really good, they don't really need another um, hero. And that Mask of Madness obviously going to boost um, boost Void's attack speed and lifesteal quite a bit. Oh, ultimate from the Beastmaster. Jakiro going to go down for sure here. Axe is coming into play. And Jakiro goes down to the pick. Sand King in the mix? No. Oh, I thought I saw the uh, Sand King ultimate going off. But uh, that was just the Void blinking in I presume anyway nice kill there for Malini as the Beastmaster able to take down the Jakira able to take down Ennis and they might be pushing mid lane now uh, trying to get their second tower of the game let me just grab some tea here good stuff it seems like Meteor Makers hanging out here Attempting to get in for push. Hanny actually teleporting home now, so let's see what he's actually teleporting top lane. So we're gonna try to get some more farm up there. And he's pretty much going all in farm build at this point. Boots of travel, hand of Midas, and then mask of madness also helps out quite a bit with farming, especially in the forest and when you uh, 
yeah, when you buff your attack speed with, with it, you can really take down forest creeps uh, fast and without losing any HP at all because of the, uh, the life steal, obviously. We might see a little bit of a gank here in the first ultimate going off on the 